Hey everyone, Steve here once again to give a brief look at the application Duet on my Hackintosh. For those that don't know, Duet is an OSX and iOS application that allows a user to take their iPhone or iPad, preferably an iPad, and use it as a secondary monitor. Although there are plenty of apps in the App Store that allow you to use a tablet as a secondary monitor, this utility is sort of unique due to the fact that instead of connecting to your PC via a wireless connection, this app utilizes a lightning or 3-pin syncing cable for a more reliable connection. Although the app was intended for actual Apple computers, I tried using it on my Hackintosh and found it does work with a couple caveats. To set up, I first downloaded the app from the App Store. The app cost me $14.99 when I downloaded it a couple months ago, but at the time of recording, the developer has slashed the price in half. I also downloaded the Desktop Companion app off the developer's website. Running the Desktop Companion app is easy to set up. After a couple dialog boxes, the program will ask to restart and it will be running when you log back in. To get the display going, I ran the Duet app on my iPad and connected it to my PC. The PC will immediately detect the iPad and produce an extended display. change where the display is in relation to your main monitor, or change any other setting, you can configure it in the settings on the menu bar. You can even change the resolution and the frame rate of the display of the desktop on the iPad. So far, the app works well on my iPad and Hackintosh. It doesn't disrupt my workflow, and it's simple to set up. I use the app a lot when I need to share my main monitor with my server right next to my Hackintosh. I can keep using my Hackintosh while I'm working on my server at the same time. I especially like this feature that I can use the touchscreen to interact with Windows on the desktop as well. There are a couple problems, one in relation to the app, and one related to my PC. The problem with the app is the on-screen lag of user input. Whenever I use my mouse or type something on the iPad screen, I notice a half to full second delay in what I want to perform on the screen. I also notice a double cursor on the screen as well. Because this isn't an actual display, and I don't do critical work on it, this can be forgiven and it doesn't affect moving video on screen. The other problem related with my machine is my GUI interface after the app is installed or when my iPad is connected to my PC. After installation of the app on my PC, my desktop's dock and menu bar are no longer transparent as they would be in Yosemite. Also, when I try to adjust the audio, I notice a weird black border around the speaker icon. Luckily, the transparency problem can be solved by going into the system preferences, accessibility, and unchecking reduce transparency. The weird border around my speaker icon only happens when my iPad is attached to my PC, so it's okay to live with. Overall, while I prefer an actual 2 or 3 monitor setup, this app gets the job done for multitasking purposes. I was glad my Hackintosh supports this app, and plan on using it in the future until I get a good graphics card. So, that'll do it for me, this is Steve signing off, and thanks for watching.